the people in charge of Fukushima Daiichi see more and more water flow into the complex every day. So they plan to increase the number of storage tanks at the nuclear plant. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company have already installed more than a thousand tanks to hold tainted water, but they'll add to that total. They want to prevent clean groundwater from seeping in and mixing with radioactive water. They've come up with several approaches to try to stop the buildup, including freezing the ground around the plant. TEPCO officials originally planned to build tanks by next March to store 830,000 tons of water. But they say the buildup could exceed that capacity if preventive measures don't go as well as planned. The new plan increases that amount by 100,000 tons. TEPCO officials say they've known for more than two years that the tank that leaked radioactive water was standing on shaky ground. They say in a test carried out in July 2011, the tank sank 20 centimeters. They're now looking into whether that had anything to do with the latest leak. Okay, on the far side of this picture, on the right, is the tank farm. It wasn't there in, in 2011, and it grew dramatically from 2011 to 2012, 2012 to 13. And you can see it's getting pretty darn full. They're going to wind up having to take some of the land in the next farmer's fields over in order to uh, continue to store all this liquid radioactive material. Well, so the tank farm has grown dramatically, and it's on the hill. Of course, the problem is, because it's on the hill, the um, water flows down. And if there's an earthquake, all of these pipes are held together with plastic piping, not much different than what you've got on a swimming pool. So the plastic pipe will, will, will um, snap, and that water will just run right down that roadway directly into the ocean. The tank in question in this farm is leaking directly into the groundwater. But that's just one tank out of a thousand. And uh, while it's serious enough in itself, it's only problem number one. Problem one, the tank that's leaking. There are other tanks that are leaking too, but the worst one was the one that was identified about three weeks ago. Problem two is that this entire tank farm is not seismically qualified. Scientists say the strong tremor that struck near Japan's crippled Fukushima nuclear site on Saturday morning was an aftershock of the 2011 destructive earthquake. Seismologists are warning that the region is now prone to more aftershocks. The epicenter of the 6.8 magnitude earthquake was an ocean area on the Japanese island of Honshu. It caused a minor tsunami, but authorities later lifted all weather warnings. Experts say it was a delayed tectonic reaction to the magnitude 9 quake, which caused a meltdown crisis at the Fukushima nuclear power plant three years ago. So there's a bunch of indications here that Fukushima Daiichi was in trouble from the earthquake and the tsunami just sealed its fate. Japanese agricultural officials say the process of moving contaminated debris from Fukushima Daiichi may have caused damage to nearby rice paddies and they're calling on the plant's operator to take measures to protect the crops. This is an image of rice stalks harvested last year in the city of Minamisoma. The rice fields are located about 20 kilometers from the nuclear facility. The parts circled show areas where radioactive substances were detected. Fukushima prefectural government officials say rice harvested from 14 locations in the city contained more than 100 becquerels of cesium per kilogram. That level exceeds the government's safety limit. They've removed all of the contaminated rice. The Agriculture Ministry officials believe debris removal work last August at the number 3 reactor may have caused the contamination. Tokyo Electric Power Company officials say they're using chemicals to stop dust from spreading and say they'll monitor the situation closely. Local government leaders say both the Agricultural Ministry and the utility failed to notify them that the crops may have been damaged. The Ministry and TEPCO should have explained to us much earlier about the contamination. City officials are now asking the Ministry to explain how the contamination happened.